Hello everyone, welcome back to TS Info Technologies YouTube channel. This is Chandrika from TS Info Technologies. Today in this video tutorial, I will explain you how to sort an array in Power Automate. So I will be discussing the four examples of sorting an array. That will be sort an array alphabetically, sort an array in descending manner and sort an array of object by multiple fields and sort a nested array value. So let's implement this in a Power Automate flow. So quickly open Power Automate homepage to create a flow. As you all know, uh, when you browse make.powerautomate.com in the browser, then it will automatically navigate to the Power Automate homepage if you are already logged in with your Microsoft credentials. So I will explain you these examples in a manually trigger flow. To create a manually trigger flow, select create in the left hand side of homepage. After that, select instant cloud flow. In the instant cloud flow, select the trigger manually trigger a flow. You can also provide a name here. After that, click on create button. Now the flow trigger has been added to the Power Automate Canva. Now we will take one more action that is initialize variable flow action. Provide a name for the variable and select the type as array. In the value section, you can create an array here. So to create an array, I have already listed out names of countries. So I will be copying it from my notepad and I will be pasting it there. So it will directly create an array here. So we have to paste this in the expression. Then it will create an array expression. Then it will create an array with the values of countries. Now our array has been created. After that, I will add compose flow action to sort this array. Take compose flow action. Now I wanted to sort this array in an alphabetical manner. I will be clicking on the expression and take sort. After that, add dynamic content of variables of countries. Then click on add. Now you can see in the create array, it will be in a cascading manner. Of It is not in an alphabetical manner. So we will run the flow and check. We're sorting the values in alphabetical manner click on save and test the flow in the test flow window select manually and click on test and click on run flow select and now you can see the flow ran successfully when we open the compose flow action uh, in the output section you can see the value of arrays will be in a alphabetical manner which starts from a and uh, ends with y here so this is how to sort an array in an alphabetical manner. Now we will see how to sort an array in a descending manner. So to know about the sort function completely, you can check out the tutorial post or you can also check out our video tutorial. I have already explained the video tutorial on sort function as well as on some of the function. You can go and check out in our TS Info Technologies YouTube channel. Now come back to the Power Automate flow and in the initialize variable, I will be taking the name as salary and I will be creating here an array of uh, numerical values. So I have already taken the numerical values here to create the flow in the descending manner. So in the value section, I will be taking expression and paste the expression here, which included the numerical values separated by the commas. Uh, you can create, you have to create an array with these numerical values and click on add. After that, to, to sort this value of numerical values in a descending manner, we have to use the reverse function along with the sort function. So I will take the reverse function here. After that, uh, add sort function. So take the initialized variable, uh, select salary, click on add. Now save and run the flow. When the flow runs successfully, you can see the compose outputs, the values has been sorted in a descending manner. This is how to sort the values of array in a descending manner. Now let's check out on how to sort array of objects by multiple fields. Uh, I have taken an initialized variable with the user registration and the type as array and the value I have taken the objects of an array here, age, username and country. Now I wanted to Filter out this array based on the country and username. Input parameters of compose flow action. Click on insert expression. After that, add sort, open bracket and again sort. Now take variables from the dynamic content user registration. Sorting it based on 
country as well as in username so provide the country name here uh, within a single quotes after that comma within single quotes again username so our expression is done after that click on add save the flow and test it again click on save and test manually test the flow the flow ran successfully and you can see the output output here based on the provided sort expression here you can see the outputs it is sorted username first in an alphabetical manner and within that username it sorted the country values in an alphabetical manner so this is how to sort an array of object based on the multiple fields now we will check out on sort a nested array value now let's check out on how to sort a nested array value so i will here explain the requirement uh, here in this array of objects we have status value as succeeded and status value as running i wanted to uh, filter status value as succeeded in that succeeded status value i wanted to sort out the start date in an ascending manner so let's do this uh, first of all after the in the compose section i have taken this value as an input then let's filter out the array where status value is equals to succeeded so let's take filter array flow action take filter array flow action then from the dynamic contents take outputs now let's filter the array which is provided in the compose flow action uh, from its body or value so provide the expression for it i have already taken the expression uh, here i will also provide this expression in the description box so that you can also use it from there so it will be taking outputs of the compose which has the values body or value after that i will i will be providing the filter query where items properties uh, status is equals to succeeded i also have written this uh, expression here so i will be taking it from here and uh, uh, selecting the choose value and provide the insert expression and uh, click item and properties status click on add is equals to succeeded now we have filtered we have taken a filter array to filter this action now it will filter the array where status value is equals to the succeeded now let's select the state uh, add one more flow action that is select add select flow action uh, in the parameter select from from the filter array of body click on switch to text mode and provide the enter a valid json here i will be adding add property item to the start date so it will take all the start dates this add to property will take start date value to the top of the object so we can take value while sorting the in the map a value add a expression here that is add to property expression i have already taken it from the notepad this add to property will take start date value to the top of the object so that so that we can pick that start date value from there while sorting so after that click on add save the flow now add compose flow action take the compose data operation in the compose data operation i will be providing the sort value uh, i will be providing sort function so take sort function and from the dynamic content select the outputs of body then within single quotes provide provide the value to sort here i will be sorting based on the start date i will save the flow and uh, now i will test it as you can see the flow ran successfully and it, and it has sorted the nested array values based on start date it is sorted it in the ascending manner this is how to sort the nested array values by using the power automate sort function and some of the functions if you guys like the video please like share and subscribe it for more video tutorials on SharePoint Online, Power Apps and Power Automate, Power BI, like, share and click on the bell icon. So thank you and see you in the next video.